Hello folks, Moby here, bringing you a little Battlefield gameplay. Um, we have uh, Steel Hawks in here, I believe Kirky was with us, uh, obviously FLB, and um, one of our new friends, uh, Iceman. And from this you might gather that Iceman is not a terrible trapper pilot. So uh, the first thought was I think he was going to lurk behind the mountains here until uh, our team spotted their chopper. And once we spotted him, we were... He can make a move after that. Not that we were going to take it out. I think the Jets wound up doing that. But, um, you know, that's one way to play it. You can come out and rush first, take bases, you know, beat up their tanks, or you can uh, kind of wait and see what their first move is and, and make a reaction off of that. I think this was a little, little later in the evening, so we didn't have everybody with us, and uh, the match didn't start out full, and uh, the car doesn't seem to accumulate people. Um, you know, Metro will, I think Oman, people seem to like Gulf of Oman, but uh, maybe even Sand Crossing, but um, Karg I don't think so, so if you don't start full, I don't think it's going to fill up. Um, I don't have too much chopper gameplay, but this was a pretty decent one. Uh, obviously, everybody can see I'm running thermal here, which is wonderful for spotting the little bodies walking around out there on the battlefield. Um, I'm not a big fan of zoom. Um, it's hard to say. Everybody has their preference. Where you gotta spot them, do something. I like to run the guided shell for the ground targets. I'm not good with that missile. I am dreadful with it. Uh, but obviously you can see, you know, if you guys don't run thermal a lot, you can see from here. I do switch back and forth. I get oriented with the standard view, uh, you know, with daylight. And then um, I use thermal to kind of pinpoint it. So when we're turning, just to get oriented. So there, on that last turn, you know, I can see the construction building between Bravo and Charlie. I know where I am, so I don't switch it. But if he makes, Iceman's making tight turns, or I need to see details, um, I'll pop it off to see what, look, he's, that guy over there wasn't dying. I know there's a big yellow garbage can over there, not a big deal. But, you know, that dumpster. Um, but if I need to see the fine details of, you know, like this road, where's the road, where's the... You know, where the containers, I might turn it off and just go to normal view. Some people find it disorienting. I do for about a half a second. Um, but it's not that bad. Not too bad at all. Um, there's a jeep on the hill. And I first thought he was going to go after it, but um, he wound up uh, playing it kind of slow. I think we wound up bumping into somebody. Your eyes open and spotted a hostile jeep over. Three. Right. Don't know if everybody knows the uh, guy. We're here in the guy to shell mode, and somebody laser designates. Well, your chop, your chopper pilot has laser designation on his feature. When you see it light up on a tank or another jet or another chopper, or a jet or another chopper, you can use your guided shell. Your guided shell can lock onto it. So if he flares off your chopper pilot, you can lock onto it. So that means you have three missiles coming at that at that chopper. So that can be pretty productive. You'll see it happen occasionally here. Um, I don't know if I ever get a shot off with that guided. So right here, if you look carefully on the right of your screen, as, you, as we're making this turn to the right, you see a little red and the hair of the white of the guy. I guess you don't see the red, but you see the white. We're not, he, we're not burning Alpha because there's an enemy on And I didn't see him there. I only saw him in the video we played. But right here, I'm just spraying down Alpha, figuring I got to get some hit marker somewhere, which is a good thing about the gunner position. You have a lot of rounds to, to spend, and the chopper pilot can stay, you know, low and steady and not move forward or backwards because he doesn't have to shoot. 
So I picked the guy up in the rubble. And here you can see the jeep running away. Obviously it's enemy because it hops on. And I love, I love getting the guy, the guy that shell hits on the jeep because the jeep doesn't get any warning. If you guys are ever in a jeep and you blow up instantly and it says the chopper killed you, it's probably the guy that shell. So that's the nice thing about it. So when we're shooting at these tanks and I see somebody get out, my feeling is the gunner is supposed to clean up the little guys. You know, you can always go back and get the vehicle, but if you shoot the guy and the vehicle's empty, the vehicle will either blow up on its own or you'll have time to come back later and, and get it. You know, nobody can just spawn on the tank, they have to spawn on the guy. So you want to clean up the guy first. We were beating him up, he didn't smoke it, and I figured he's going to jump out. Well, he jumped out on the wrong side, I guessed right. And he jumped out on our side of that tank. And we just, you know, I just shot him off. So, uh, you know, I, I do try to have a method to my madness. You know, when you're engaging a tank this close, I don't want to get tank sniped. Um, and it would be nice to get the get the guy to chill on him, but um, I didn't feel we had the time. it would be better off doing more damage to his tank and making him make a panic move, get out maybe, or let the uh, ice man shoot him up, rather than take the time and just try to beat up, the, shoot the tank in a one shot with the guy that. So um, you have to pick your moments. When when do you have time? When do you not have time? When do you need to make a deal some damage to his vehicle, when can you um, take your time and hit him with all one big shot and really blow it up in one, one foul swoop. Here the guys were calling out, there was someone in the building. All I'm doing right there is just spraying the whole thing down, just looking for hit markers. Ooh, I got one. So that was pretty lucky on that one. Somebody must have dealt some damage to him beforehand. Hey, you just got in it. And if you go to guided, the guided shell mode here when you're just searching for somebody, it'll only find the vehicles, but it'll find them for you. Um, you don't necessarily have to look for them, so if I don't know how close somebody is, you can still hit the back button and look for spotting. But um, put your guided shell on, you'll find the vehicles. Whether it's a Jeep, could be a soul flam, could be a uh, spawn beacon. Um, I think it, it'll lock onto an MAV as well. But if you're just in the gun mode, you have to try to spot the whole time. Um, and you may not spot the vehicle. Whereas the guided seems to find the vehicles fairly easily. Uh, it's not didn't have to be too sensitive. I did see that guy back there, which only, I would have only seen him with the thermals, which is why I use it. Um, oftentimes your engagements aren't very useful for zoom, too far away in the zoom, and then even if you're in zoom and you move left and right, it seems way too sensitive. You always, or I always, overcompensate. You know, if the guys, if I need to move a little to the right, I move way to the right. Um, and most of your engagements aren't going to be from that long of a distance. Um, and I don't feel it lends that much more accuracy. The splash damage is good enough for, for infantry and the guided shells for your vehicle. So, um, that's, I mean, that's kind of my take on it. You know, we're probably loitering in an area where we probably don't need to be, but um, I think it was late. Enemy infantry in the area. Yeah, 
positioned over by their helicopter base. So you know, I think I wrapped it up a little bit after this. Iceman was having a good time. So. Not too often we camp people on card. Especially on this side, on the Delta side. Our squad that died was Curry. Yeah. What the hell, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> that dude's crazy. Well, folks, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your time. And uh, remember, keep your stick on the ice. And here's a little bonus clip for you. And this is when you know you've had enough, when there are too many. Way too many. Like all of them, right? Enemy LAV has been spotted in your AO.